Okay everybody, welcome back to Cool Quotes Dark Souls Let's Play, and in this episode we are going to venture further into the Undead Bird by walking through this ominous fog door to fight... Absolutely nothing. Uh, yeah, there is a lot of fog doors in this game that are basically just like, you know, doors to the next area. Um, but you never know, like every once in a while there's going to be a fog door that's just going to like, you know, lead right into a boss battle that you probably don't expect. And there's been at least two times in this game where that's happened, where I've thought that it was just a next area fog door, and it wasn't. So, uh, just keep that in mind when you're playing through. Uh, make sure you're like, healed up and stuff before you head through a fog door, because bad things could happen to you. Anyway, let's head up here and almost get killed by a red drake. Yeah, the first time I played that game, I'm pretty sure I was very, very surprised. But now I'm just amused by the fact that he misses you on purpose. Uh, you're going to notice that when I get hit by arrows and swords and stuff, I am taking damage, uh, even through my shield. And that's because the shield doesn't block 100% of physical damage. That's very bad. Uh, if I didn't start with the shield, I would have had a shield uh, that had 100% damage. Most classes do have 100% damage reduction shields. Pyromancer doesn't. You know, as a magician or a pyromancer or whatever, it expects you to not be in the melee fighting people. But uh, in this episode, we're gonna find a shield that has, a, at the very least, better damage resistance than like the 80% or whatever this one has, so I should be taking less damage like when I'm blocking arrows. Um, now the bonfire is up there, but first I'm going to head through this door right here, and as I was just saying, I'm pretty sure this has a better shield, so let's see. The wooden shield. Yeah. Uh, this doesn't actually have full, um, full resistance, but I'm pretty sure it's like 92%, 93%. So that's way better. Like basically, arrows should barely do it. Like barely even touch me at this point. Um, and then I'll head over here. Now these guys are complete assholes. Um, they're the spear wielding guys. You know, you fight you fight the guys with shields and swords, and they're annoying. These guys, they just don't attack you. Sometimes they'll just stand there turtling with their shield, and you'll be hitting their shield like a million times. You try to go around them, and they just follow you perfectly. Like look at this. Look at this. You just can't get behind them sometimes. Now what I do is I try to hit them once, and sometimes when you hit them that first time, they will attack back. You really get them to do it. And there it is. And then once, once they attack you back and you block it with your shield, you should be able to kill them. I tried to parry there and just failed. So let's heal them. So I think I'm going to try to parry him again, and I succeed, and this is fucking cool. You, know, you just hold that guy's head while you, while you cut him across the neck on that second swing. So cool. I mean, you know, it took me like an Estus to recover from how many failed parries I had, but, it's, you know, it was worth it. It looked, it looked pretty cool. But now, I'm an asshole, and I kind of spoiled the surprise for you by not running right into it like a good Let's Player would. But, uh... That guy does annoy me. The first time I walked by that guy, he like killed me in one hit because I was like at low health and walked by. Well, and now and you seem to have your. Me. Then you are a welcome customer. <laughs> now this guy, you can actually, if you want to, you can kill him, and he will drop an Uchi Katana, which is like an awesome weapon that you definitely can't afford. So if you have, if you're like a Dex build, uh, it's definitely in your best interest to at least consider killing this guy at the beginning of the game. But uh, I wouldn't if you're any other class because he does sell some cool stuff for the beginning of the game. Like, I just picked up the Heater Shield, which is like the first shield you can get that has 100% damage reduction. Uh, you can get uh, the Bow and Arrows, you can get uh, some Fire Bombs, uh, some other stuff like that. And you can get the Repair Box and uh, those other upgrade items that you, so you can at the bonfire you can repair. Like, this guy sells a lot of cool stuff at the beginning Thank of the game, and he really, really is the only <laughs> merchant for a while. So, uh, unless your deck spilled, I would not kill this guy right off the bat. Now, you're going to see me here actually crunch a bunch of these souls, because I want the bow. I don't actually have the dexterity to wield the bow yet, 
plate. I'm gonna need it for the next part because I'm gonna want to try to get a very powerful sword called the Drake Sword. And in order to How? do that, <laughs> I need a bow and about a hundred arrows because I'll probably miss. I'm pretty sure the Drake Sword only takes like 30 arrows or 40 arrows, but I'm not the best shot, so it might take me oh, anywhere between thank you. you know 40 and 60 I'm arrows, and I want to have a few left over to pull people, so uh, that's, that's a good idea, I think. Here I'm going to actually try to equip it uh, and then figure out that I'm an idiot and don't have enough dexterity, so look at that. Three more dexterity before I can do it. But, yeah, that's pretty much that undead merch. And uh, I'll make other trips back to him before this game is over, I'm sure. So anyway, let's keep going up to the bonfire up here. And this is basically the most important bonfire in the undead burg. Uh, there are a couple, but this one you're going to come back to time and time again because it is connected in so many ways to other areas. Uh, you can get from here um, to the Undead Parish fairly quickly. You can get to here. Uh, you can get from here to the bridge. Uh, there's, there's an easy way to get from here to the lower Undead Burg and therefore the depths. It's actually pretty impressive how many things branch off this. So I'm, I'm gonna actually, you're gonna, you just saw me crush, crush some humanity. I'm actually going to restore my humanity here, and then I'm going to use the other humanity to kindle the bonfire, which means that every time I rested it from now on, I will get 10 Estus Flasks instead of 5. And I do recommend for anyone playing this game that you do the same for this bonfire at the very least, because you're going to rest at this one a lot, and you're going to rest at this one before a lot of bosses. There's actually phantoms on the ground here. I, I do find that there's a lot of players, I think some of them in like New Game Plus, that'll actually hang out here and just like, you know, crush people. Those are all like sun bros too, like you can see the, 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 all the gold signs instead of the white. Um, I don't think that I've ever used anyone in these areas to help me, but uh, for new players it's cool that that's something that's available for you. These guys I'm going to show again because they're a real pain in the ass. Um, yeah, that was a, just a horrible fail of the parry. Basically, that's what I wanted to show you. Uh, if you can block their, their attack, uh, you, there is an opening right there that I missed that time that you can get a decent hit in. Um, even without parrying or doing anything like that. Look where he attacks me, and I try to parry him horribly and die. No, um... Basically, take a little little swing at him, usually. He'll try to attack you. See, every time I try to let's play and record, I just look like an idiot, which is pretty funny, but... that guy up before he can kill me. And get a few more things from this guy. I never had. <laughs> I'll fill the rest up with arrows. But yeah, basically I forgot oh, to get that on my first run through. Um, Basically, the orange guidance soapstone is like those signs that you see around, like right there, on the ground. And that one there. Basically, it just allows you to put signs out for other players. Um, but anyway, until next time.